Hey guys, we're for here, and this is Haunted Halls number one, Green Hill Sanitarium. Because I'm planning on playing all the Haunted Hill Halls games. At present, there are four games, we're gonna go through them all. We're gonna play all of them, I think, in SA version, standard edition. And I realized when I downloaded this game that um, my old player here was, was still left, was still here. So apparently, um, somehow that is saved, uh, cause this is, I bought this a while ago before YouTube and I played it by myself. And it's fascinating that when you uninstall games and reinstall them, your, your profile seems to still be here. So yeah, there are some really creepy people in the background. So yeah, this is a sanitarium and I love this part, it's like upside down stuff and a little duck here is really weird. So yeah. We will. We have no extras. Uh, yeah, we don't have collection, so we will just play. Tim began the investigation at Green Hill Psychiatric Clinic one month ago. He said strange things happened there, but he asked you not to worry. It looks like he just didn't want to scare you. The last time you heard from him was a week ago. Since that time, you have no idea where he is, or how he is. Having tried to contact him without any success, you decided to find him by yourself. Not scary at all. Tim's car in just a few weeks. It's aged ten years. You know what? We're not gonna do interactive help this time. Uh, you found an umbrella. It might come in handy in the future. Oh, so inventory bar is automatically locked. Um, there's only one difficulty setting, as you saw. Notes. Ooh, yeah, this one notes look. Okay. Tim began his investigation into strange occurrences at Green Hill Sanitarium one month ago. He said only blah blah blah. Oh no, this is not exactly the same, actually. He said he'd only be gone for a few weeks and assured me that there was nothing to worry about. Looks like he just didn't want to scare me. I've done some research and this place's short history is checkered by pers personnel violence and mysterious deaths. After corresponding with Tim every day for weeks, he suddenly went silent over a week ago. I've tried contacting him through every means possible, but to no avail. The authorities seem to be no help, and his editor claims Tim does this, this frequently when he's close to cracking a case open. It's time I take matters into my own hands and find him myself. Oh, we have medical charts. Well, not right now, but we will have. Tim's last letter read, Darling, I will spend a couple more days here. The truth is my investigation has brought me to a dead end. The sanitarium director, Dr. Blackmore, does not want to help me. I have a feeling that something is very wrong here. If I don't find the smoking gun soon, I will return home, albeit empty-handed. Love, Tim. 2010. Seems the director of Green Hills is trying to hide something from Tim. My journey to the clinic was a frightening one. As I approached, my mind was attacked by hallucinations and I nearly lost control of the car. Luckily, I was able to conquer my fears and get my heart rate back down. Moreover, the building looks nothing like the photo Tim sent me. Somehow. Green Hill Sanitarium has aged dramatically since Tim sent a picture a week sent a picture weeks ago. It looks abandoned, and I'm afraid Tim may no longer be here. <gasps> oh hello. Ooh, okay, yeah, I didn't I didn't remember this creepy eye. <laughs> That's so creepy. Alright, can object scene go. Oh, I didn't remember this either. Okay, so there's a lot of things I don't remember. I don't well I, I know I played it before, but I don't remember all the details, you know? It's gonna be cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm just random clicking. And it's going so great! Nuts! I should really stop random clicking right now. Oh, it's... Not going well. <sighs> Book of matches. A flower and a camera. I do like this, that uh, it disappears. I 
do like that. Down there are two pins. Pins. That's one. Okay, that bird is starting to annoy me. Birdie, sit still, please. Uh, crown and arrow. So yeah, this is, I don't know, it feels like this Hanavi scene is typical, a little bit typical for older Hanavi games, like, everything's really tiny that you want to click on. It's, it can be hard getting the exact pixels, but, but yeah. Cat. I have seen a cat multiple times. There you are. So it's to pin the crown and the arrow. really cool. Um, a crown and an arrow. Well, there's the arrow. Wow, it's super hidden. Okay, so where's this crown? <sighs> Come on. Oh, there you are. So yeah. Uh, Book of Matches. That's gonna be handy. Oh, the shiny object is just out of reach, but I have an umbrella. A valve. Cool. I have to find the key to unlock this door. Thank goodness, Tim's car is parked right outside the gate. It too looks like it hasn't been touched in years. The doors are locked and I didn't bring the spare key. I've seen no other evidence of Tim around the area. But I did just see a- No, it can't be. I must be hallucinating. Uh, what do you see? I, I have no idea what you just saw. What do you see, lady? Right address, but the building appears abandoned. Newspaper. Whoop, I should have read that, but okay. Ah, uh, the main entrance is. Oh! Who could be watching from the other side? I knock, but they don't respond. I feel as though I'm being watched at all times as I walk the grounds. An eye gazes at me through the peephole in the main door, but says nothing and does nothing. Well, I mean, I can't do much by itself, right? Oh! Nope. What horror! What is that thing? What does it want? Uh, padlock. That's a bit more conventional. This bush, unkept and uncared for, has dead ends. There's our blue. Oh, I could have sworn that hose was a snake a second ago. Uh, thumbs are missing from both hands. Yeah, that one's pretty creepy. More hallucinations. There's something wrong with this place. With my own eyes, I saw a snake turn into hose. The door to the side annex cannot be opened because the handles are, have turned into human hands, creating a digit lock. The key is a couple of thumbs. Man, I need your help or not. Oh, hello. Ah, reddish liquid congeals on the wall. Please tell me that is not blood. It, it, it is blood. If I uh, need a hose. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting an eye. Board. A small building next to the main hospital building is protected by an electric fence. I must find a way in. That wasn't a hallucination, was it? No, I really did just see a strange boy spying on me from behind the sanitarium. I called out to him, but I must have scared him. What is a child doing running around alone on the sanitarium grounds? Who is he? Why is he afraid of me? I wonder if he can help me rescue Tim. I have so many questions and so few answers. An electric fence, are they keeping me out or somebody, or somebody in? I was like, come on. I uh, found a stone and an eye. I don't remember if there's a map in this game. I, at the moment, I don't think so, but I'm not sure. Uh, cutting the rose bush won't restore its pleasant scent. Oh, okay. That's Tim! Good god, what have they done to you? 
here's Tim, and he's... Poor, poor Tim, I must save him before it's too late. Yup, he's having a good day at work. I found Tim, and he's hooked up some kind of awful machine. He crowds out in pain and is barely comprehensible through his anguish. I will have to find a way inside the building if I'm going to save him. Uh, only a madman hides the key in the beehive. I'll have to smoke at the bees. Uh, it's a great spot for a fire. Oh, paper. Uh, ah, smoking out the bees. Maybe? I need more smoke to drive them away. Oh, it's not smoky enough. Some dry brush should help. A key stuck in the beehive. I hope the key is not the main sanitarium door. The only way to get the key is to get rid of the bees. Maybe I can find a newspaper, some boards, and dry branches to smoke them out. Well, I mean, you know, it could happen. Oh, there's the boy again. He runs away, unaware that I am uh, a friend, I think. Okay, stop doing that. Whatever you are, crack it, imitation thing. Stop doing that. What is that crow peck peck pecking away at? Uh, oh. Hello, I just, okay. Cool, sure. Yeah. The graveyard seems to be the quietest place around the clinic. However, I could hear faint scratching noises behind the crypt door and breathing behind the columbarium door. I also saw the tentacle again. Only a large monster would have such reach. You are not kidding. Oh, there's a the lobster. A crustacean crypt? This place is weirder than Tim suggested. Uh, batch at a door in the crypt door. I hate to see who or what is inside. A lot of eyes. Eyes, 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 eyes. So, we need branches. Oh. oh my gosh. Stop doing that. Okay, that actually scared me for real. <laughs> Stupid jump scare. Reels. Uh, so that's not how you use this. Was well, that I, how I use it? Oh, hello. And I. Uh, doesn't work here. Work here. It's not how you use it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we don't have a map. So, we'll have to find out ourselves what we're supposed to do. Um, we need branches here. Uh, no, no, I'm pretty sure. We'll have to come back to that later. I'm pretty sure I remember that. Um, oh, it's Pecky. Oh, stop. Yeah, give me that eye. But, uh, where do I use them? Okay. Nothing to do here. Oh! You see the footprints? Did you- Oh! Clippers, of course. Did you see the footprints here? It's like one shoe and one not shoe. Whew! Okay, now there's smoke now, for real. Okay, hello, key. You can open the door like that too. Wow, that was a pretty violent key there. Oh, great brown, blue, green, green, green. Oh, I need another one. This metal holder is eerily similar to an eye socket. Okay, I need another eye. Not here. 
Oh, apparently. Oh, there it is. Hello. Right there. Oh, hello. Help. Move the rows of blocks with the right and left arrows to move the eyes to the bottom of the grid. Blocks with an X are the last in the row. If you get stuck, click the reset button. Yep, I'm stuck. Pretty stuck. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho. I forgot this was like an enormous puzzle. Like, ginormous puzzle. I didn't mean to do that one, I meant to do this one. Ah, oh, okay, I think the third time is the last, but I'm not sure. But, yeah. to be in I don't know not really right here we go finally I'm inside the building the inside of it looks even worse than the outside there doesn't seem to be anyone behind the reception desk I guess I'll have to find him on my own yeah like this dude in what's happening here the cemetery is like a nightmare come to life yeah the dude in the floor is kind of yucky as uh, a net uh, in case of fire everyone should run to the fire Am I the only one who thinks that this ev evacuation plan is strange? It basically shows you how to run into the fire and die. The poor clock seems afraid to tell the time. Ah, oh, it says hell instead, that's cool. Not creepy at all. Oh. Book. Oh yeah, we can use this to get steam for something. Ah, uh, let's do another Hinabic scene. Okay, prescription bottle, adhesive advantage. Medical chart number one. Ballet dancer. There is a belly dancer in here. There we go. There she has two syringes. That's not creepy at all. Somehow syringes are creepy. Um, horseshoe hourglass scissors. So right there. Oh, there's a molecule. Uh, die, X, card, uh, horse, rose, oh, giraffe, aha, uh -huh. 
Drafts. Drafts are random in these games. At least after Dark Purple's six. Uh, there's an hourglass. A feather and a rose. Okay. Oh, this bow is nice though. I don't think I want, would like to take it with me home from this place, but it's nice. Uh, a card and a siren. Okay, a card. What do you mean by card? Oh, you mean one of those. Cool. We have the first medical chart. Name, John Ocean, sex, male, age 35. Diagnosis, manic depressive disorder due to fear of water. Bipolar 1 disorder? Severe manic episodes brought on by the sights and sounds of water. The patient was admitted to Green Hills after a severe mental breakdown at an aquarium. He claimed the water was trying to kill him. The treatment was started on 25th of May 2009. The patient does not respond to medication or psychotherapy. Background. While in the U.S. Navy, the patient served aboard the USS Hutchinson. Symptoms began after a catastrophe off the coast of Pensacola, Florida. Pensacola? Pensacola? Uh, the submarine mysteriously had a hull breach and sunk. Out of 141 sailors, he was the only survivor and was rescued after surviving for four days in a waterlogged torpedo room. That is not creepy at all. Oh, that's why you're going for six, 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 six. Funny thing is, though, that if you count that number from the Bible, like, is sixty-six isn't even the devil's number. It was just like a miscalculation. It's some other like random number that's not equally funny, which is why people hang on to it because sixty-six is like it's easy to remember and it's kind of funny uh, because it's the same. But it. It, like, it really isn't that someone just, you know, miscalculated. Oh, uh, that's kind of nice. Uh, but anyways, that, that means hell in our, in our culture, because it doesn't matter if it's miscalculated or not, people, that's what people learn, so. X marks the spot, even on the sandbag. That is cool. Alright, but we will take a break right here, and, uh, yeah, we are playing Haunted Halls 1, Green Hill Sanitarium, and we will be playing all the other games in the Haunted Halls series. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. It was like creepy, but uh, and a little scary, but you know, um, not too much. And, and yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.